This is a Game Caviar production. Not having it in the Game Caviar Studios playing another new game for the channel, Star Trek. I'm a really big Star Trek fan. Are you? Are you a Star Trek fan or are you a Star Wars fan or are you both? Me personally, I like both of them, both of them, but I really like Star Trek. Like I watched it a lot growing up and it's just been something that has been a part of my life since I can remember. Now, I'm not one of those people that dresses up in Starfleet uniforms and goes to a Star Trek convention. I have not been to a Star Trek convention. Would I go? Probably. I mean, I'm not going to say I'm definitely not going to, but I'm not going to go as far as getting a, a, a making my own uniform and, and doing that whole thing. Um, it's just not something that I see myself doing. I, although the people that do it, they, they do come out with some really great creations and recreations. Sometimes they make their own uniforms from scratch, and that's really cool. I really, uh, I really enjoy seeing what people come out with when uh, when they go to these things. But anyway, this game right here is a third person. Uh, this, this is like a mix between Army of Two, Mass Effect, and Tomb Raider, and and, and Uncharted. Okay, and Tomb Raider and Uncharted are pretty similar as far as the platforming goes. So. When you mash all of those together, you get a really great game if you do it right, okay? This game is done right. I played it for about an hour. I finished this mission, and then uh, I'm, I'm working towards the, the next mission. And uh, I, while I was doing it, uh, before I started recording and after I finished recording this video, I was just... Getting a, getting used to the controls using the tricorder. You use your tricorder to search for things and hack uh, panels and uh, switches and things like that. And you can use it to scan people, I believe, like you know, just like a normal tricorder on Star Trek. So it's really cool. This is on PC, but this is one of those cool games that allows you to use an Xbox 360 controller on the PC. I don't think I know. I'm using it on a. Um, a Windows based computer. I don't know whether this game is coming out on Mac, but I know on Mac you can use your PS3 controller to connect to the Mac through Bluetooth. So keep that in mind for all my Mac gamers out there and for my PC gamers, just get a uh, wired Xbox 360 controller and hook it straight up into your USB cord or uh, port and you'll be good to go. But anyway, since it's on PC, the graphics look amazing some of the character levels are kind of weird or uh, not levels but the movements they're kind of janky and and not fluid but that's easily overlooked because it's not something that ruins the game and it's not something that dominates the movement of the game so if you're a star trek fan let me know uh, we could talk about star trek and get all nerdy if you're planning on getting this game let me know and if you have this game please let me know what you think about it i like it and i would definitely buy it i got it on sale for like 40 dollars on steam so this has been Star Trek on PC. I'm not having it in the Game Caviar Studios, and I'm out. This has been a Game Caviar production. Like this video and subscribe for more.